Honestly, I might do, yeah. There's, um... Got... Okay, so my plan is to set up all the parts on these tables. I have every single electrical components um, as well as the main front end all lined up here. By the way, you might hear some music going in the background. They are doing karaoke all night right now. It is pretty hilarious. Made a bunch of posters just for Maker Camp. Anybody that comes by, you get a free poster. Over here is all of the side panels. So this is everything um, that goes on the outside of the bike just for cosmetics. We got our two frames going. And then out front here, I brought over the uh, moped conversion just to show folks. Hopefully I can get some sleep, we'll see. Last year they did the karaoke too and it went to like two in the morning. I'm sleeping in the van tonight. We're gonna do, oh uh, yeah, try, try that one. So remember, <laughs> if you kind of wiggle it up and down, actually, as you see. There you go. You got it. Got pretty much all set, motor, free spins. I don't have a brake on, so we'll do that. And let's see, let's watch your screen. Whoa. How about going to my settings? Motor direction. Yeah. There we go. Looking good. So this, the smaller wheel allows us to get um, a seat height down of like 27, 28 inches. Here, you ready? Go ahead and keep that shit. <laughs> yeah. So what's cool about this, just like the hub motor stuff, this is a 5,000 watt that will peak up to about 10,000 watt. So I don't even know what any of that means. So, <laughs> all right. Electric motors, they have a nominal rating and a peak rating. Okay. So nominal is like holding that thing down all day. Yeah. It's not gonna burn out. Yeah. Peak is like what you could do for like 10 seconds, right? I see. Because when you accelerate, you're only pulling that max power for like 10 seconds. Yeah. So I can flip that for 20 horsepower and then it will die down to 10 horsepower. Yeah. But because it's all standardized, you just undo the nuts, drop it out, and pop in a motor that's twice the power. I see, I see. I see. You know what I mean? This whole thing has been really cool because it's the same exact frame, but I just do a little bit of a shorter swing arm. Yeah in a different wheel, and now we've created an entirely different bike. I got three more frames to build over there, but like this is just a side piece, so I put one bend in, it's all tab and slot. All the bolts hold it together like a jigsaw. Yeah. I weld it, pull the bolts out, grind it flat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm on the hunt for stickers. My goal is to cover the bike in stickers by the end of the day. So I think we're gonna call it on Maker Camp. It's time to get things packed up. It's gonna rain here pretty soon. We did get two bikes built up. I did drop one of them, which has been pretty funny because I did it in front of a whole big group of people. 
But uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we got going on. So we finished a full-size stock javelin, black javelin. Over here, we built a mini. So 12-inch rear, 14 front. Trying out our custom headlight we're making. But this thing is looking pretty awesome. It handles so well, too. I'm really amazed. I can't wait to get it out on the road. We did bring our Pook conversion and our little trailer here, which we'll talk about more in a little bit. Huge shout out to the Maker Camp team. This was a wonderful weekend. Um, I got to meet a lot of great people. Um, got to teach some folks things and I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to uh, possibly do something next year. We'll see what we do. All right.